everybody, I am Nerd Pro. Welcome to this very first deck tech here on my channel, uh, where we're looking at a Pokemon trading card game deck. Uh, as you can see in front of you, this is the Pokemon trading card game client, or the online version of the game. And this deck is for the 2015 into the 2016 standard format. So it's not expanded, it's not, well you could use it in expanded, but it would not be that great. Uh, so the whole deck is focused around the Pokemon that you can see below my face and, uh, well, in front of you now, Mian Xiao. I think that's how you pronounce it. If you, if it's not correct, then tell me in the comments. Uh, where you basically, the whole deck works like a Dawnfin deck from the last format, or in the current expanded format. I, I bet there's someone trying Dawnfin in there. Uh, where you use this, these kind of weak fighting Pokemon, but you use them together with their great utility cards like Strong Energy, which is not really a utility card, but it's a damage output card, and Fighting Stadium, together with Muscle Band. Uh, Mian Shao, even though it only says 40 damage, it can actually deal 100 damage with those cards, and that's not counting weakness. With weakness, that's 200 damage, which is just kind of insane. So, yes, be careful with that. Anyway, when you attack, it is returned to your hand. Usually that might sound like a negative thing, but it's a bananas thing. So you attack with the damage, or you attack, do the damage, return to your hand, and when you do that, you put another Pokemon active that you don't mind dying, or that they can't actually kill. Because you're playing a card that's called Focus Sash. Equip that to a fighting Pokemon, and the Pokemon cannot get knocked out with one attack as long as they have full HP. If they have any damage counters on them, they can still be knocked out, but then you would not play this. Uh, it also means that any kind of uh, attack or effect that deals a bit, little bit of damage or damage counters to your Pokemon stops this effect, which can be annoying, but it's still more annoying for your opponent having to waste that kind of pinpoint damage on a Focus Sash ability or a card. So you put it on Halucha. Halucha is a weak Pokemon, but with that card it can actually survive another turn. Most often it actually does. And if you're playing this correctly, you should have at least two Mianfao uh, on the field. Not at any one turn. Well, two or one, depending on. One in your hand and one on the field. Uh, so if you have two, you can evolve one of them, attack with that, return to your hand, put Halucha out, or Robo Substitute, for example, which also is a, is a great card for denying your opponent prices. And then next turn, evolve the other Mianfao and do the attack again. Uh, we also play Karina to find the cards that we need. Uh, there's really not much that is special to the deck. I do play one Landris just so that we have the possibility or the chance of reusing energies if your opponent is being very, very effective in knocking your Pokémon out with energies on them. Usually though, your energies will be in your hand. Your strong energies will often be in your hand because you're attacking with Mian Xiao and just returning it to your hand all the time. So it's also weak against Ace Trainer can be a huge problem, and, well, that's what it is. I mean, if you're in the lead with any deck, Ace Trainer can kind of be annoying. If you're making this deck and you can't really afford the Shamans, as you can see, the deck plays Shamans, like any deck in Standard at the moment. If, you, if you're playing the online game, I would suggest really, really trying to get these, even though the price is actually going up at the moment, which is unfortunate. Uh, but if you want to play this as a cheaper version, you could remove the two Shamans, and play, move, do, 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 add another Landris and another Level Ball. Uh, that's probably what I would do. Or another Sycamore. That could also be a thing. Well, it, it's really up to you what you want to do there. Um, and that's really the whole deck. You, you're you annoying, you do a lot of damage with your weak Pokémon, they can't knock you out, which means that you're gonna become, or end up in a price lead. And even when they knock your Pokémon out, they're gonna get one price, most often, unless they Lysander your Shamans, and, well, that can happen in any game, and we also play Tool Center, of course, to do the same thing, which is awesome. And, yeah, so try to keep your strong or attacking Pokémon, like Mian Xiao, safe from any damage, or put a Focus... Don't be afraid to put, uh, put Focus Sash down on your Pokémon, even though you know your opponent might be able to remove it on their turn. Uh, it's there to save them, it's not supposed to be in your hand for no reason, Put it out, don't be afraid to use them. If they use Starling Megaphone, uh, which is not really played that much in Standard at the moment, from what I've noticed, it happened. You know, it, you're really gonna lose that Pokémon anyway, probably. Um, of course, also, we're gonna talk about Seismitoad. Well, if we're playing against Seismitoad, remember also, when I'm thinking about that actually, High Jump Kick, 
is an attack that you can use. Don't be afraid to use high jump kick in situations where you have to use it. Uh, you don't have to return it to your hand every turn because you can save it. So high jump kick can actually be worth using sometimes. Especially when your opponent is like lacking energy or you're noticing that he can't get the cards he need. High jump kick can just save you that one turn from playing an energy next turn. So, for example, if you want to play two strong energies. If you have two strong energies on this already, you can play the third one and then return everything to your hand and you don't really risk losing those energies. Your opponent will know about it, but you won't risk losing them. Uh, you could also add another switch if you want to, but that's usually not a problem a problem because we play Halucha, which is a free retreater, and Nian Xiao retreats by attacking, and Robo Substitute can just be sacrificed. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed the deck. It is for the standard format, as I just mentioned in the beginning of the video. Uh, good luck with it. Try it out. It's a really fun deck to play, and it's surprisingly strong against uh, EX decks that you would not think you could defeat, like uh, Rayquaza for example, is something that I thought there would, it would be a huge problem for this deck because of the resistance, because of the damage, because of their big HP, but most often I actually win with this deck. Also, at that time of course you have to remember that Halucha is definitely a good attacker against uh, those kind of Pokemon. So yes, enjoy the deck, try it out, I'll see you next time, bye bye. Thank you everybody for checking out this video. You can click right here to see the next deck in the series. If you want to see more Pokemon decks and content in general, you can click right here. Don't forget to read the information down below for links to my social medias and my Twitch page, where you can find me streaming the Pokemon TCG almost every weekday. Check it out, and once again, thanks for stopping by. Take care.